Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, besides showing you an example of how to graph a circle, we're going to also compare the equation of a circle to the equation of an ellipse. Now, in the next video, we're going to start developing the understanding of an ellipse, but at least here you want to be able to see the difference between the two. Notice on the left side we have an equation where the x squared term and the y squared term have the same coefficients, both of them are 1. On the right side of the equation, you see that the coefficient of the x squared term is a 1 and the coefficient of the y squared term is a 9. That makes it not a circle. The two coefficients must be the same or it's not a circle. It turns out that it's probably an ellipse. All right, so what we're going to do on the right side is we're going to divide both sides of the equation by the 9 right here. So to turn that into a 1 in front of the y squared. So if we divide the left side by 9 and we divide the right side by 9, we get the following. So here we get x squared divided by 9 plus y squared divided by 1 minus x plus 10y is equal to, that would be a minus, looks like, 25. Okay, and then you can write this as x squared over 3 squared plus y squared over 1 squared minus x plus 10y equals minus 25. Now, I'm not going to go on any further, but at least the characteristic of an ellipse is something that looks like this, where you have x squared divided by some number squared plus y squared divided by some number squared, where these two numbers are not the same, and that typically then results in the equation of an ellipse. You can see on the left side that's not the problem, so we're going to take the left side of the equation and turn it into the standard form of the circle so we can graph it. So this we're going to write as x squared plus 2x, and leave some space, plus y squared minus 6y, and then leave some space, is equal to, since the 6 already on the right side, that is good, we can leave it like that. Now to make this into a perfect square, so we want this to be a perfect square, we want this to be a perfect square, here we're going to take half this coefficient, square it, and add it over here. So half of 2 is 1 squared, you get plus 1, which means also, also need to add a plus 1 to the right side, to make sure the left side and the right side stay the same. Okay, over here we take half this coefficient, which is negative 3 squared, to get plus 9, and so we also need to add a plus 9 on the right side of the equation. All right, now we see that this is a perfect square. This is a perfect square, so we can write these as the, the product, or see, the square of a binomial. So here we can write this as x plus 1 quantity squared plus y minus 3 quantity squared is equal to, that would be 16. And then finally we can write it into its final form, so write this as x plus 1 quantity squared plus y minus 3 quantity squared is equal to 4 squared, and so that's the standard form of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equal to r squared, which means that in this case h is equal to negative 1, k is equal to 3, and r is equal to 2. And now we can go ahead and grab that circle. There's my y-axis. There's my x-axis. First of all, the center of the circle is at hk, so h is minus 1. k is 3, 1, 2, 3. So this point right there is the point minus 1 and 3. That's the center of the circle. The radius is 2, so that means it's like this, like this, like this, like this. And so here's my circle. And that's the circle defined by this equation right here. And that came from the form from the equation right there, put it in standard form, find your h, k, and r, and you can graph the circle. And on the next videos, we're going to start looking at ellipses to see how we would graph something like that.